Well, there was a time when reggae was almost a synonym or synonymous with Jamaica. Uh -huh. We're now hearing you have German reggae, Italian reggae, all kind of reggae, Japanese and if Latin reggae. Yeah, Japanese reggae, and they all sound so much like real reggae, which is Jamaican. We're talking with two of the people who've watched um, dancehall and reggae, the development, and they've traveled as far in this instance to Italy, to Rotterdam a festival. They said over 20 years now, and I'm just knowing about this thing to tell you the rock I'm under. <laughs> but Winford Williams and Dr. Donna Hope Marquis, they come back with us. Yes, uh, back with you, Dr. Hope. Back with you, Winford Williams. Mm -hmm. So the threat you say to w one of the things I'd like to emerge from this then is to look at the the financial loss to the Jamaican reggae artist mm -hmm. in light of what you say is happening worldwide. How would you categorize what the artist is losing, Winford Williams? I, 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 I think that they're, they're losing a lot and, and, and much of it, because I just spoke with, uh, we, we just had a, a visit from Klaus Mack. He was in Jamaica in December. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who puts on Summer Jam in mm -hmm. Germany. That, too, is over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a full reggae festival with two stages going at the same time. That's how big it is. Perhaps the biggest in the world. And um, he said that he, he's still very interested in, in, in booking Jamaican artists. He was here recruiting artists for Summer Jam 2010. Mm -hmm. So it's not, that they're, they're, it's, it's not that they've turned their backs on Jamaica. Jamaica is still the authentic space where you get the truth. When you say from Kingston, Jamaica... I know we now present. Mm -hmm. that, that makes a world of difference. Yes. These guys, are, they, they, we're talking about authentic, true reggae artists. So they're still looking to, to mix in the Jamaican artists. Mm -hmm. The problem is that they're facing a lot of issues with yes. their own po um, polish, um, local leaders, mm -hmm. they're, 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 the, the local government in, in, in Cologne. They're, they're facing all kinds of issues getting the artists in there. And then th there is a problem of indiscipline on the part of our artists. Are not, our artists are not helping uh -huh. in the way they are behaving. Yes. A lot of them have problems. They have to be going around looking for waivers and so on for them to travel. So it's becoming increasingly difficult to get them into Europe to perform. And then there is a bag of uh, uh, issues on top of that. When they get to, to Europe, they, the, the behavior and the things they sign to in regards to homophobic lyrics and so on, they breach them, mm -hmm. or they breach them in Jamaica, and when they get to Europe, the gay people um, produce tapes and stories of them performing these lyrics in other places in the world, and, and want to block them. So then, now, Donna, is, is it then time for an image makeover for dancehall and reggae music in general? Well, an image makeover is, is one ma might help in one instance, but in the other, um, remember that the culture of Europe is very different. And mm. in Germany, for example, right now they um, they have developed something that I'm told is called the German Index, oh, where they are putting it's with, where they are placing problematic lyrics, lyrics that are considered offensive on it. If a song goes on it, then you can't perform the song, and the album that the song is on is banned from sale. Legally. What's the criteria for that index? Um, if you have homosexual lyrics or lyrics that are considered offensive, and if there are lyrics that are considered offensive or homophobic, offensive depending on the definition, your song is banned and the album is banned from legitimate sale, and the mm. artist is on the problems. POP is on the problems right now. Their shows for this month are about to be cancelled. For oh, what? Because, because they have a song called Chichi Man. The same song? Uh, 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 I'm so hold sorry. on, hold on. Mm. And even though they signed off on the very compassionate act and they're doing everything, mm. the guy who manages them in Germany, um, we spoke last week because they they they, they have a, they had to have a meeting on Wednesday to try and find sort out what they are how the move ahead is going yes. because they are still on the seas um, where that discussion is concerned. Okay. Germany is very against um, intolerance because of their own history of intolerance, and so we. Right. Have been dragged into Absolutely. that thing. Even though our society, we have a very different way of dealing with things. You know, we call people by various names in jest or otherwise, and we don't take it much further. Usually, it's lyrical. In Europe, they are using their own history to be to, to sort of brush everyone broadly. So, if you utter a single word uh, or so, or inference, you you, you end yes. you end up on that list. That and index. So, what is happening is that they are they called us last week to try and get some proper different translation and so because they uh -huh. 
have their own translation. They shall have and But Donna, you know, they can actually arrest you. Yes. yes. I'm sorry, what was that, Winford? Yes. yes. They, they, they are law in Germany. Yes. Some of our artists can be arrested, you know. Oh, yes. what? For yes. hate lyrics on stage in public it's places. Oh, yes. Yes. Somebody just yes. told me this, this section of the law in Germany. Um, so we where they can arrest some of these artists. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It is much different from here where we are very tolerant about, you know, talking about various people and we call each other by names and nicknames are a par for course and, you know, people trace lyrically in various settings and it is not seen in a, in a long, in a very way. They have different German groups, that gentleman from the Green Party, Volkerbeck, um, Volkerbeck and, right. and they have Right and the Gay Association, LSDD. They are doing a lot of work right now as we speak mm. um, to, to, to block a lot of our artists. Artists who you would even consider to be any major challenge mm. are on yeah, that no, no. The, the strategy yeah. is to say Bra- Jamaica. And, 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 and because the, 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 the yeah. dance hall artist wasn't working. It wasn't effective enough. So mm-hmm. exactly. they're throwing everybody in the, in the, in the, in the, in the can and are, are, are broad brushing us. Mm. But, but, but it can be a world yeah. campaign and the campaign is to get for, to, to advance the gay agenda using Jamaican artists since they won't conform. Mm. And, so, and, and I think that our artists well, yes. understand that yes. they are being targeted and they are being provoked into mm. speaking against and to lick out and to cut and carry on and, mm. and, and, and these guys are using it and they love it when Jamaican artists do it. It, it takes some guidance and some sobering up there for Dr. Uho Marquis, don't you think? Because yes, indeed. I, one of the yes, things, indeed. you know, we interviewed Cecile here last week or week before mm-hmm. and I think what she's done brilliantly is to recognize that what she does here is to just keep currency she says with yes. the Jamaican audience what her marketplace sure is face. the world yes but you know, there's only one market oh, because of digital technology yes. that is true. Yes. true there is only one market you stand in the back of a road behind a fence and you make a song or you do a video it is on YouTube yes. you are in the world in the backyard mm-hmm. of some place down in true. a post almost you are no instant. longer divorced because mm-hmm. of the way that the world has been telescoped mm-hmm. through the technologies that exist. And also, if we want to earn money abroad, there are ways that we will have to be diplomatic, even though I get the impression, Winsford, um, you know, that, that, that diplomacy is not working very well for the artists because mm-hmm. things that they did many, many, many mm-hmm. years ago are still being brought into the mix. Right. And, and are they being asked yes. then to censor themselves? Absolutely. But you see, I'll, 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 this is where the artists start to step aside. There ought to be a group. The, 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 um, the, the action network, the hip-hop action network in the U.S. That, that yes. When they came after, when the gay people came after the hip-hop artists, yes. they, the group took over and put the artists behind and says, okay, you talk to us. And let the artists do their work, and we will take take the hit. Mm-hmm. Well, perhaps we need to form such a group. They were yes, the artists, that's where the leadership must come from. Yes. And at the same time, yeah. they were talking to those who are attacking the artists. Mm. And we, that's what happened for hip hop. We all the time, you know, gen- gentlemen and ladies. Revisit, revisit. All the time, but we must. And somebody needs to do what you're suggesting, Winford. Brilliant idea. Leadership but thank you. in dance hall. That's thank what we you. need. Thank you, Doctor Hope. Thank all you.